All right, team, I would love for you just to take a second, particularly all young people. Hello, everybody. I want you to go. I want you to grab a quick pen. I want you to grab a texture. I want you to grab a pencil. I want you to grab a piece of paper. I don't care if it's the back of a shopping list or whether it's a beautiful, fresh piece of art paper. It doesn't matter what it is. It's what we're about to use it for. So I'm going to give you 10 seconds. I want you to go and grab something for me right now, okay? While you're doing that, I want to give a quick shout out to all of our people who have won their bingo challenge. I've dropped off four parcels. Four. And as Troy and Chrissy said a little minute ago, we have only one day of holidays left. You have one day left to get your final bingo card to me. So if you haven't already, I've loved seeing the videos, I've loved seeing the pictures, I've loved seeing the photos, but if you could let me know when you've finished your bingo card, because I'm clever, but I can't hold all 25 activities in the card in my head at once. So make sure you let me know once you're done as well. Okay, have you got your things? I want us to pause for a second today. It is really important that we focus in our heads and in our hearts on who God is because he is very real, he is very present, he is very close, he is very loving, he cares very deeply for who you are and what you are doing and where you are and what's going on at the moment. And I think it's really important today for us all, I don't care how old you are, to take a moment and to sit with that thought. It says in Philippians that we are to think about the good things. It says in Hebrews that we're to fix our eyes, not necessarily our actual eyes, but our inside, our heart and our mind as well on Jesus. And Brett is about to come and share a bit more from the Bible with us in a second, but let's take a moment just to think and to stop and to pause and to get our head and our heart right on God before we dive into these things. I'm going to read you, uh, it's a poem. It's a paraphrase of Psalm 23. What a paraphrase means is it's not, it's not exactly what is written in the Bible, but someone has read Psalm 23 and they've thought about it and they let God talk to them about it and they've written things out in their own words. We often, we often sing paraphrased psalms and songs to God. A lot of the songs we sing in church I like that. They are people, are writers, musicians have taken words from the Bible and they've let God speak to them and they've created something beautiful for us to reflect on together. That's what worship songs, quite a lot of our worship songs are like that. So I'm going to read this paraphrase, this Psalm 23 to you, and I'm reading it from one of my favourite Bibles. It's the Jesus Storybook Bible. What I want you to do is I'm reading it to you. With that pencil, with that piece of paper, I want you to listen really carefully. And if a word or a picture or an idea sticks out to you more than any others as I'm reading, I want you to write it down for me, okay? Because I do find that those things that grab my attention most when I'm thinking about God are important to me and God wants to actually talk to me with those things and speak to me really clearly. So I don't ignore a word or a picture or an idea that sticks out really clearly to you today. Okay, are you ready? Grab your pencil. Let me read this to you. God is my shepherd and I am his little lamb. He feeds me, he guides me, he looks after me, and I have everything I need. Inside, my heart is very quiet. 
as quiet as lying still in soft green grass in a meadow by a little stream. Even when I walk through the dark, scary, lonely places, I won't be afraid because my shepherd knows where I am. He is here with me. He keeps me safe. He rescues me. He makes me strong and brave. He is getting wonderful things ready for me, especially for me. Everything I ever dreamed of. He fills my heart so full of happiness I can't hold it all inside. Wherever I go, I know God's never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever. Love will go too. What have you got written on your piece of paper today? I want you to look really carefully and I want you to circle just one thought or one picture or one word that sticks out more than any other. That's what I want you to hold this week. That's what I want you to think about. That's what I want you to pray about. Because that's really, really important to you. And I believe God wants to talk to us all. So I wonder what he's saying to you today with those things. I'd love to pray very quickly for you. So, team, will you close your eyes? Will you bow your head? We don't do this because we have to. We do this because it helps us concentrate. Okay? So can you do that for me right now? God, I want to thank you that you speak to us. I want to thank you that you love us so much that you don't leave us wandering around and wondering where you are. You are close. You have things you want to say. So God, I pray over each young person today and each grown-up person today that you would speak with great, great clarity. You would speak very clearly. That you would give us special things, special words, special ideas just from you that we can hold really closely in our hearts and our minds as we walk this week, as we go back to school, as we engage in all of our practices and our work and all of the things we have to do, may we hold very tightly to who you are. May our thoughts be always focused on you. May our ears and our hearts be leaning, leaning close so that we can grasp a hold of what you're wanting to say. Thank you that you know us. Thank you that you're close. Thank you that you're with us. Thank you that you haven't forgotten us. I pray these things in your name. Amen.